Welcome to Trailmakers, guys, the game where you look for salvage in order to get more parts in order to build better things. Today, we're on the hunt for the helicopter propeller blade. As I wish to build a helicopter, as I feel that is the best way to get these bigger blocks down to the ground. Ooh, I didn't quite see it, but I think, well, I hope, that was something useful. There's the planes in pieces. And, 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 and... It is what we were looking for. The Holy Grail, the helicopter blade. Let's go. Um, I've just got to get this down. I've got no idea how to do that. So we'll have a look and see what we've got. So I attempted to build this. It's just a massive plane with a magnet on the front. And the hope is that we hook up and fly. But uh, I don't think this is going to work too well. Okay, so we connect a little bit too high. So we'll have another stab at it. Get underneath. And nope. Little bit heavier than I thought it would be for this tiny little plane. Quick change to the truck to dig this out of here. And what we'll do is we'll move this out into the open. We'll set out into the open. We'll get it back into the plane. And we'll try again. So this looks like a good spot as any. It's a big open space. It's a flat land. So I've got a decent runway to kind of take off with this. So we'll drop this off here and get out the way. And it's rolling. So that might not end well. Switch to the plane. And I forget I don't actually have any way to turn this thing around while we're on the land. And the ball is rolling off. And yeah. Oh, 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 crunch. Yeah. <laughs> it's pulled me in the plane, falling off the cliff. Helpful. I'll just enjoy the view as we fall down here as I can contemplate the mistakes that I have made. It does look like it's in the water though, so it's not gone far, it's not reset. That might be helpful for us. If I could just get over the top of the water, I've got a good idea. And it goes along the lines of Geronimo! Hopefully this will survive this slam into the water though. Ugh. Hold on tight! Eee! Okay, so that went a lot better than it could have done. And with the right way up. Right, so we've got this here. I guess we've got to try and submarine it out, maybe? It's the only way. I, I don't see this point in trying to struggle, so get the sub on it. That's a little bit bigger than I thought it would be, so it's too big for the sub. I have got one more plan. And here it is. So basic. You just extend and stick an electromagnet on it. Sink ourselves down in the derriere. Scoot back. Hook up. Inflate. Go forwards. Simple, right? Bob is a little bit heavy. So we'll get as far as we can. And then... Yeah, I don't think we're going to get much further. What we'll try and do, we'll swap out for the buggy. A few quick modifications on this. We've added water engine, so we're underwater. And we'll just use this, basically, to drag us out. So now we've got that all dropped off, we can go find ourselves a space. We can try and build a helicopter. I'm going to be trying a few different things, because I have no idea how these helicopter engines and blades work. So I need to learn a little bit and see what we can come up with. We'll go over here somewhere and we'll be fine. So first things first, a little test. I want to know if this will do anything, and if so, what? So there's some mad rotational forces going on here, like a real helicopter, I guess. So if we try two, yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit bonkers. So we're going to have to tweak this, maybe if I spin one the other way. So this is with one going backwards and one going forwards. Actually, it stops the real crazy rotation overwards, but we just got to sort our weight balance out. As you can see, the front is heavier than the back so we're kind of tipping forwards a little bit of tails on it and now we're too heavy at the back <laughs> so weight getting the balance right with helicopter blades is hugely important so we've got some little tail fins on the front as well we are a little bit more level nothing too crazy but we are actually there we do have a bit of a roll issue now but one thing at a time we'll get this balance right so get in there Mini thrusters! So this will help us move forwards, obviously because we can't see the air forwards with the blades, they're just help us go up. And uh, as you can see, adding mini thrusters, we need to sort this roll out because it's just a bit mental. It does do what we want, it's, it's reasonably stable-ish. A lot of this is being controlled on the seat, but it's not as good as we want it just yet, so there's more tweaks to be done. So with this, I've changed it all completely. I've got the rotors in the middle-ish on top of each other, one spin and one, one spin the other, stop spinning around in a bad circle. Then of course we've got some rear mini thrusters on a hinge to try and help us with the forwards and backwards. And then we've got the two sort of wings at the front that are pivoted, so they should help us turn. Didn't really work so well. Changed it up a bit, added the rotors on a tilt in the hope that this would help. It was in fact worse. A lot worse. 
So then I had this mad idea of thinking, what happens if we slow the rotors down, but we have more of them? So obviously we've got four here, and they're quite a slow speed. And I kind of built this on top of a sort of a plane design. Seems to handle okay. So I have right and left. My turning is on a mini thruster. So we go right, it's in this one, and then there's one on the front to bring us left. Still don't have an issue for my roll. So it's a bit of a problem. Everything else is using WASD in the cockpit. And it seems to be relatively all right. It's a little bit potentially overkill with the fact that we've got four helicopter engines on it, but it does seem to be okay at doing what we want it to do-ish. One massive problem with this thing is it doesn't have a hover feature. So trying to pick this up was tricky. In fact, it was very tricky. In fact, I must have tried for hours flying over the top of this block trying to pick it up. And without a roll and without a hover function, this helicopter is not the helicopter for me. It just wasn't working how I wanted it to work. I had to feather so many different buttons trying to grab this block so many different times. I was just all over the place. Completely uncontrollable when you were trying to be precise with it. Four real world hours later, decided to take a break from Trailmakers for a while and throw on some videos to learn how to build a helicopter. That's why there's no game audio this because like an idiot there running whilst I was recording. Anyway, this is what I came up with after listening to a few things. It's a little bit more balanced than things were before. It's still not quite right, but it's getting there. So it's giving me some ideas. So what I've done here is I've added mini thrusters just next to the rotors in the hope that it would help me control the roll. It was a little bit effective. The mini thrusters don't seem to have enough grunt in order to stop me rolling, or they just need to be pushed for longer. Either way, it kind of didn't work like I wanted it to. So I had an idea about using gimbal engines on this, so I've added four. I've got one to the right and to the left to help with the roll, and one to the nose and the tail to help with the whole pitch thing. This seems to be a better way. It's a lot more useful than the mini thrusters. However, it still has a user error. I've got to learn how to fly this damn thing. So I've added an electromagnet underneath this just to give me a little bit better idea of the weight. And I'm actually liking this. The only thing I'm thinking is we need a little bit more gimbal engines. And if I can, I want to automate it because I'm getting too many buttons to press. So let's have a look what we can do. So this was fun. What I've done is I've added four gimbal engines or two extras to the side to help with the roll. And I've got it on an angled sensor. And the hope is that one angled sensor controls the left hand side. The other angle sensor controls the right hand side. And it should keep me relatively straight. Haven't worked out the pitch yet, so don't worry about that. But my... My roll is pretty good if you look. I don't seem to be rolling. The craft isn't trying to flip over or turn its back. And if I wobble it a bit, the gimbal engines come on and it holds its own. So trying to set up the pitch in the same way I did the roll seemed to be a little bit trickier trying to get that balance spot on. This is the best I've got so far where the front seems to be always activated and the rear is pulsing. It's keeping me relatively straight though, so I'm happy there. It is achieving what we want it to achieve. It was very tricky because sometimes getting these gimbals right was so confusing I ended up losing this craft many times. Sometimes the front would stay activated and it would just zoom up in the sky and yeah, it was tricky but I think I'm happy with where we're at now. So let's give ourselves a practice. Over here is a power core, and I'm gonna try and get it. Now, I still don't have a hover function. I'm still not entirely sure if all of my angle sensors are set up to work, but uh, let's see what we do and see how we get on. Wink, yep, it's got it, okay. So, our roll is good, but our pitch is not. We seem to be stuck going upwards, that needs looking at. That's not good. The good news is if we turn the rotors off, we're actually heavy enough to go against the gimbal engine. So the gimbal's not strong enough to lift us up on its own without the rotors, so this will help us get down. And then I'll just drop this off, and then I'll get the vehicle, a little car buggy thing, and I'll drive this into the little dome to collect it. And then we'll look at what we've got to do here. There's quite a lot. It's a little bit of a tricky thing anyway. Bombs away. Now I want to see if we were able to pick up something bigger and potentially heavier. So this wedge piece seems to be good and looks good so far. The only problem is getting the buttons all confused and dropping the dank thing. Anyway, it's not too much of a problem. I'll be able to switch to the buggy, get that in the water and then switch to the submarine and get that out of there. But yeah, that was just unfortunate. But it, it can lift it, which is good. Switch to the car, hook it up, just get it back into the water. And once it's in the water, obviously, we'll switch to the submarine and we'll get the sub and we'll just yeet this straight across to the other side and get it collected. Job's a good one. A little bit of a wiggle over here with the submarine and kablam. Perfect fit, that's why I designed this. Nice, picks it up and away we go. It's like a little boat, this is pretty good. It's nice if you don't get stuck. So this is the machine 
at its latest build and it's quite complex for me it's probably one of the most complex things that i've ever done for everybody else probably really easy a lot of logic, really confusing. Let me talk you through what we've got so you guys understand it a little bit better. On the back, got an altitude sensor. Literally just to let me know how high we are when we're looking for high pass. We've added a few more gimbal engines. Got one at the front, it's just tucked behind these two wings here behind the cockpit. And then right at the very front, we've got these two. And then a similar thing on the back. We've got the one and we've got the two. Now the twos are what control our hover. And they run off this speed sensor into an AND gate. And then we've also got a distance sensor here which looks at this piston. What you end up doing is your piston has to be activated in the distance sensor and your speed sensor has to be activated in order to trigger the two gimbal engines to cause us to hover. Using that angle sensor on the side, the little gimbal jet here and the one behind the cockpit, that controls our pitch. And then obviously we've got two more angle sensors that are hooked up to the four gimbal engines on the sides and that controls our roll. Mini thrusters to help us go forwards, and then mini thrusters at the very front to help us go left and right. Propeller blades slightly offset due to the motors being at level 10. I realized offsetting the propeller blades actually seemed to give us a little bit more lift, so it was a better way of doing it. Now, the way that this hover function works, okay, so if we go up, you'll see I drop the piston in front of the distance sensor, so the distance sensor is activated. Now I have to turn off the propellers so that we have a speed of zero. That triggers speed sensor as you can see it's going crazy so that with the distance sensor being on and that speed sensor being on the outside most gimbal engines trigger so they kind of hover now if i just move the piston away from the distance sensor those gimbal engines turn off and we slightly drop so this is the most effective way i could find to hover we do still slowly drop because of the sheer weight of the machine but it actually it's pretty stable in the hover it's a slow drop and there's nothing that can't be managed and it was really easy to do actually so let's give this a go, see how we can get on with this. It's interesting to steer, it seems to want to spin. So it's a little bit like a spacecraft in space. A slight little touch on the jets and it kind of spins us absolutely madly out of control. So that's an area that we need to improve on really because it's, it is uncontrollable in an annoying way. For some reason it's pushing the operator seat away from us as well, which I really don't understand. We are losing a little bit of altitude as well. So this is getting a little bit tricky. We do have this weird drift thing going on. Maybe we can change that, stop that from happening if we put a couple of tail fins on it or something. But the minute I have no reverse. So it is proving to be a little bit annoying to control actually, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, now we're lined up, we should be able to get this. Um, I don't really know what happened there, as soon as the magnet hit it, it, it kind of just blew us up, which was interesting. And something has happened here, because that is the operator seat in the water over there, so we've got to go over there and see if we can pick it up. Right, now let's see how we get on with this. It should be able to pick it up, because the tippity tip of the ball is just sort of at the edge of the surface, so we should be able to get this with the electromagnet all right, if I can control this, because it's got this incredible strafing thing going on, which is it's really frustrating. Uh, I have no more power cores left to use either, so I have to deal with everything that's on here. But if we can get ourselves lined up, get above it, seem to roll, and then, yeah, again, when the magnet hits, we just disintegrate into a million pieces. I'm not entirely sure what that is about. Here goes. So the electromagnet I've now got on pistons, which also have suspension in them to act as a dampener, so that hopefully when we get above the block and we activate the suspension acts as a dampener to stop us slamming in it should kind of take the whatever's going on up basically it should all happen in the spring that's the hope for the theory anyway still not exactly the easiest of things to control but we'll get over this and we'll get this sorted pretty soon and hopefully these work if these don't work i really haven't got a clue what's going on tricky 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 i've got to get forwards just over the top of it, somewhere here, yep, same thing happened, the magnet connected and yeah, I don't know what's going on, I don't get it. We're turning to Old Faithful to help us out with this one, so this is my big truck that you know I use for these big things. Yes, we've got a couple of water motors on it just so that we can get underneath it and hopefully he won't struggle, he gets wrapped around it nice and easy. Magnet hooks up okay, we haven't exploded, lift the rear tyres up to lift the ball off the ground and it's easy, we'll just get out of the water. 
once we're out of the water, that raw motor will kick in and we'll be able to be able to get us out of here and get this dropped off. But I don't know what's going on with the helicopter and the electromagnet, why it seems to just smash when it hooked up to this big thing. No idea whatsoever, to be fair. But this will do. This works. Okay, so being as we struggled with the big one, let's give a little one a try and see if we can pick this up. See if we explode. Hopefully we won't explode. Maybe it's got something to do with the size. I don't really know how it all works. I've never really experienced the problem before. Yeah, see? Fine. Absolutely fine. Picks it up real nice, actually. Nice and sweet. Wind it in. Chug ourselves over so we can go down. And we'll go for the little thing on the island. Turn the rotors off. And then we should drop. So here we are, this is where we're going to drop this off. Should be nice and easy, hopefully. I don't really know, just think, fly underneath the cone of influence, and then maybe it should collect the ball easy enough. Ooh, it's got some weird pull to it when we get close to it though. So I think we'll drop this off, and then we'll turn into the vehicle and we'll shove it underneath, because I don't want to end up smashing myself into the floor and losing this whole thing. So all we've got to do is just reverse ourselves, collect the salvage, and just basically shove it under the cone of influence, I guess, and then that should be that. Crucial part of your spaceship. I seem to remember seeing the dragon engine is in the bottom of the volcano. So while we have a helicopter or something that can hover or go up and down vertically, I think we should go get it. So that's what we'll be doing. Poor oh, blimey, it's high up here. Right, first things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna land and we're gonna like repair in the hope that then this sets it as a spawn point. So if we do go down the volcano and crash, it's not gonna spawn us all the way back up at the islands. So I guess we just gotta fall down, right? can just turn this off we don't need to worry about hovering too much so we can just fall down stay nice and square and I guess now woo, we gotta try and pick this up and <laughs> we've got to do it carefully it's explosive after a while so I can confirm that I need to do something about the strafing with this because it's taken me forever woo. but now we've got it and we've got to get out of here and we've got to be careful because this is explosive problem is it also seems to be sort of heavy because this is at maximum speed with all the lifting ability that I've got and uh, looking at the altitude sensor we're barely going up so we've got to somehow just keep it going it seems if I move slightly forwards and backwards so that the gimbal jets to keep the pitch right activate they do give us a little bit of lift as well and the end is in sight so we're almost out which is pretty good and i have noticed it's hard to tell in the computer game but the nearer the top of the volcano we got so the more out we get when we seem to get in the normal air the more we're actually able to act like a normal helicopter whether or not they did that whether it's physics i don't know but yeah it seems to fly better when you're in normal air we are nearly there so i'll just drop this off if i can and so we've got to be careful because don't forget this is very explosive and it'd just be my luck to drop this right here and send it all the way back to the volcano but take our time we should be able to do it. i'm just gonna go underneath it's a bit of a risk but i think we can do it all right we are under there we go Woo! that is the dragon engine completed we can take that one off now this is going to be handy for us this is going to be very handy for us. We'll just have a look, see, it's three. Ooh, three power cores. Now what can I do? I get rid of the four uh, mini thrusters that we've got on the side and then we replace them with just one dragon engine and we'll put it in the middle. Try and keep the balance somewhat there. Rightio, let's see. How does this work? Actually, in all fairness, it's a lot better. It does make us go forwards a lot better than the four mini thrusters do might not be as easy to reverse against because we've still got two mini thrusters to reverse us and to slow us down a bit but it is what it is we'll have a look see we'll keep flying around and we'll see what happens anyway guys i want to say thank you very much for watching this episode of this successful ish helicopter build so we could get the dragon engine please tune in next time take it easy bye for now bye everybody